Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to look at my movie accurate Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you later for future videos on this channel as we're on our way to 100,000 subs this year. Here we have movie accurate Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. As you know, Mr. Potato Head was made with 3D printing as well as Mrs. Potato Head made with 3D printing, but by two different 3D printmakers. Wander's Replica Creations created this body in 3D print, and then Toy Story Replica Customs from the UK, United Kingdom, made this body. They're both different, and they're actually different colors, but I really like this Mr. Potato Head even though I just got this one. I don't know, there's just something about this that I really love uh, because I made the parts myself out of other things. And this is really cool too, but it's still not perfectly toy mode. And that's the thing, nothing's gonna be 100% perfect, but we're gonna get close to it. As you can tell, this potato is just a little bit more orangey like the movie, and this one's a little bit more like a peachy color, which isn't a bad thing. I think it suits Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head here. As you can see, um, they both have awesome back compartments that function like the movie where we can put all their parts inside. This one has a magnet because it wasn't closing properly, so I put a magnet in there. But you can store all their pieces and parts, which is really nice as well. But we will take all their parts off. And I kind of wanted, what I want to do is show you partners because I got this question asked on my channel. Are you able to swap these parts for this potato head? vice versa. Can I put these parts on here and these parts on here? Well, we're going to find out together if we're able to do that. So as you know, everything is removable and I have links to how I made these potato heads. If you go to my movie accurate playlist on my YouTube channel, you just need to go to playlists and then click on movie accurate toy story toys. You're going to see video reviews for both my Mrs. Potato Head and my Mr. Potato Head. So then you can see more in-depth review of these potato heads. Um, we know that the eyebrows are removable here. So there are holes on the head, which I don't like personally, because that means I can't really fix the eyebrows on this potato head because the holes are fixed. Um, so the one thing about Mr. Potato Head, which is cool, is I could do a magnetic mod because this just easily comes off. It is not a problem for me to reattach and attach the eyebrows back on his head. So they look funny without <laughs> eyebrows. But what the coolest thing I feel like about these potato heads is that all their parts function like the movie. We have separate eyes and we also have separate shoes, which is, which is a dream come true. Now you may have noticed this purse. This purse on Mrs. Potato Head is actually from a play school Toy Story 4 Mrs. Potato Head. It fits on her and it matches her color so it's cool to have that option. Um, I'm gonna put this down for now because we don't need it but it's really cool that that actually works for this potato head. So here we have Wanderers Replica Creations, here we have Toy Story Custom Replicas. As you can see they're very similar in their construction. Um, one's a little bit rounder, this one's a little flatter that I noticed. As you can see on the back compartments, one opens up really easily. The other one as well. I just had to put a magnet because it doesn't stay closed, but they're very similar in design. This one has a bigger compartment. Side holes are similar as well. You can tell missing a booty. This one has more of a booty shape, which is better. This is truly shaped better. But they're basically the same size um, potatoes, like not one's taller than the other basically the same size. So let me know in the comment section below, which potato body do you like better? I don't know, I kind of like, I would like a hybrid between these two. I kind of like this, but it has no booty. And I like this one, but there's kind of weird stuff going on here with the smile thing. I don't know if I like that, but. So this body will go over here now for Mrs. Potato Head. And we're switching this body for Mr. Potato Head and let's see if it works. But we'll start with this body to see if Mrs. Potato Head parts fit on it. I'm sure it does. That one seemed to slide in very easily. And then this shoe as well. And we'll pick it up and yeah, the shoes don't fall off, which is really good. I really like having these parts for that reason. This is going to probably be a success. 
yep, the holes are the same size, which is surprising, but at the same time, that just means that I did a good job when I was designing this with Wanders, because I told him uh, to design, I, I told him what I wanted in the design. I told him how big to make the holes. Uh, I told him how I wanted to see it stylized. The only, the only problem was the booty wasn't done right, but everything else I feel like was done right. So, so far for Mrs. Potato Head, we don't have any issues. It seems like it's going to work out. Everything's fitting, which is going to be really interesting to see uh, once they're both assembled, what they're going to actually look like. And I wonder if I'm going to like it better or not than the other body that I just took it off of. But we're going to fit the mouth on there okay. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I think she looks a little funny so far because I modeled this one after Mr. Potato Head so it might look a little bit different. Let's get the other ear here and that went in. The unfortunate thing is that I can't put her eyebrows on because I would have to break these pegs off and I don't want to break them but it would look cool if we could put her eyebrows on. Unfortunately, I can't because I don't want to break it. But, you know, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look too bad, but I also think it looks off. Uh, because, you know, I was designing this with Mr. Potato Head in mind, not Mrs. Although you would think, wouldn't they be the same? But they're not the same exactly, exact toy. <laughs> Mrs. Potato Head here looks a little funky. Just something's a little off here. So now we're going to try the other Mr. Potato Head here. And we're going to see if we can get similar results. Maybe it'll look good. But we're doing it now with Mr. Potato Head. And I don't know if it's going to look good because, like I said, when I designed these parts and I made them, I was placing the pegs in position of the other body. And these holes are slightly different. Although they're the same size, they're slightly different. And so far, the shoes have been a little wonky here. Uh, let's get an eyeball on. The eyeball fits fine. We're going to get an uh, eyebrow up here. The only problem is the uh, he has other there's other eyebrow holes on the top there that I can't really get rid of. It's, they're just there. So it might not work, but... I mean, at least the parts fit in the holes, right? So, we're going to put this other one up here. Because they're like kind of touching up here. Like in the movie. But then we're going to get the nose. Which is a custom peg thing for the mustache that I put in that's removable. It's pretty cool. I designed this myself from a Toy Story collection. Um part and then here we have the mouth because in toy mode he had this lip thing in Toy Story 1 and then looks like the nose peg isn't right pos positioned correctly all right so we're gonna put the other ear here and then we're gonna put the last hat piece on top of his head and there we go we have a Mr. Potato Head on a Mrs. Potato Head body and we have Mrs. Potato Head over here on a Mr. Potato Head body. Well, I gotta admit, this does not look as good as I thought it was gonna look. This is mainly because the Potato Head bodies are not designed for the parts that are on them. Um, it's a night and day difference between when I have them switched out, but now you know what it looks like if I was able to change the parts around, um, just to see what it would look like if I swapped the parts out with the Miss Potato Head custom replicas. Now, if I got two of these bodies, like that were designed for the actual parts of the toys, I think it could definitely look way better, but it's not looking too good as you can see. So although, yes, I can transfer the pieces over to the potatoes, they don't look that good. 
in my opinion. It looks like something is definitely wrong about these potatoes. Even the side profiles, it's just, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's not the worst, but I don't recommend, I definitely would not recommend to keep them like this. They just don't look like the movie to me like this. So what I'm going to do is switch the parts out in three, two, one. So here they are back where they belong and this looks way more amazing and more like the movie in my opinion. It just doesn't work. Yeah, you can swap the parts out, but the potatoes are designed a little differently to meet the needs of the parts for Mr. or Mrs. Potato Head. It would be nice to get something a little bit more consistent, but for now I really love these two because this was a lot of work that I personally put into and this was something that was I was waiting for over a year to get. So I accept these. I love them. They're great parts of my movie accurate collection and I'm always going to cherish them. As always partners, I'm on my way to 100,000 subs this year so if you want to help support me all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You are the real Buzz Lightyear, you're, a, uh, you're an accent faker! You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. That might be you are a child! Thing. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.